like a TV show. Is it like a TV show? Is that what we're talking about here? It's like a TV show. Like I'm on TV. TV. Television. Intervision. Welcome to the TV show. <laughs> oh, we're having fun already, guys. Let's kick it off, you guys. One. We're going to hope to do a lot of more of these uh, live streams. To me, they're an opportunity to, to, to get to you in a time when we can't really uh, get out and, and perform for you face-to-face. -face. So thank you for buying a ticket and being a part of this with us. We're super excited to be here. This is the title track for the new record that we just put out called Lonesome High. And uh, hope you enjoy it. We're going to have a great time. Touch the sky. I'm still all alone. So 
that's the show. Thank you. Good night. How about one more? Okay, one more. Across the sky, no one asked why. Since the beginning of time, we've all been able to find something to be afraid of. I don't believe that's what we're made of.
Rizzy's officially sweating. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sweaty one. Yeah. I'm, on, I'm under the McDonald's French fry lights since <laughs> 1975. Right. Poor fry girl. Y'all give it up for Leah Calvert on some lead vocals over there, playing the part of Emily Sellers tonight. Uh, Emily was uh, sweet enough to be a part of that song and write it with me and performed it on the record. And uh, Leah does a fantastic job of it as well. Um, this one goes out to my buddy uh, Travis Meadows, who uh, helped me write it and, um, and uh, is recovering right now. Uh, with a lot of love and good vibes from a lot of good friends. And um, this is called Close Enough. Let me get a sip of water right quick. <clears throat> Got warm in here quick. Oh, yes. Ah. in B, guys. B, if you're following along at home. Thank you. These two hands Aren't afraid to swing a hammer Aren't afraid to go to battle if you need them to These two hands They have learned to tie a ribbon They do all the heavy lifting I'd lift the world afraid to see you leaving to start the life that you believe in as an angel dressed in white this old man will be here when you need him to spoil your kids and feed them I'm always on your side
feel that way about my life. <laughs> I'm always close enough. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm never close enough. I feel like I... <laughs> this is an old song that that we redid for this record. Um, never been on a record of mine before. Zach Brown Band used to play it back in the day. It's called Human. And um, we've, we've had it for a long time, but uh, I'm excited to share it with you if you haven't heard it before. So... This is human. Freedom, 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 freedom. 
It's freedom. 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 It's freedom. I hope y'all are having fun at home. <laughs> it will never be easy to stare at cameras and hope that you're enjoying this. <laughs> I just uh, heard that my Aunt Jackie is watching. Hey, Jacqueline. We love you. Aunt Jackie is uh, like my Auntie Mame. She's... Uh, my favorite aunt and um, a wonderful, wonderful lady. Glad you're watching. Next song. So uh, this is a song about growing up listening to music in dad's car. And uh, the dad drove a Cadillac in the 80s, one of those big boats. It's like the Batmobile. And um, it had an eight-track player in it. So uh, we, we used to listen to a lot of songs that dad was into back in the day. And this chronicles some of those. It's called Eight Tracks in Daddy's Cadillac. And um, I'm excited to play it for you. Yeah.
be on the road again. Yeah. We just released this next one as a, as a video, and we were set up pretty much the same way as we are now. And um, we changed the lights. We had a bunch of fog in here. And um, it was directed by a bunch of great guys that, uh, that I'm really excited to, to be working with. And uh, thanks to Andrew and Chuck for, for being, uh, being there to help us out with that. This is called uh, I Hate to See Good Whiskey Go to Waste. <laughs> We were here the night she said that she didn't love me anymore. I'm still drinking doubles, but they're not working like before. There's a hundred top shelf bottles here to satisfy my taste Losing her taught me how much I hate To see good whiskey go to waste See a crowd there and the way they let it pour It's clear they don't have a clue Just what the good stuff's for I Watch them raise their glasses, dance and laugh And then I hear the bottle break Remind me just how much I hate See good whiskey go to waste Someone yell, last call. I stumble to the doorway and I pray that I don't fall. They're turning out the lights, but I swear I still see her face. I haven't spilled a single drop, but man, I hate. See good whiskey go to win.
Oh, yes, for sure. Hate to see good whiskey go to waste. This is about the time we normally, you know, have someone bring us a whiskey. You guys thirsty? Yeah. Okay. Huh? A little parched, yes. Um, if there's any whiskey in the house, two ounces on the rocks. Uh, how many we want? Six. Seven. <laughs> I'm trying alcohol for the first time. Keep them coming. But you got to be careful out there. You got to be careful with that whiskey, boy, because it'll get you. And you know what they say. The devil lives in a mason jar. I can't even play guitar anymore. It's like, wh how many strings am I going to hit? Like one? <laughs> it's like, great chord. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Falling apart. It's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. Let me just try to do it right.
mason jar. This is clear, but his soul is dark. Picking through the pieces of the preacher. Picking through the pieces of the preacher. Picking through the pieces of the preacher. From the Daylight Record, Devil Lives in a Mason Jar. We're going to get back to the Lonesome High Record now. <clears throat> Another new song called I Know Worries. Oh, snap! Hey! Let's see, this one looks pretty. It's my brother, Michael Hopkins, on the bartending skills. Thank you, Michael. I believe the band is drinking Woodford tonight. I've got Zima in mind, but- Zima, yes. Rizima, they call him. <laughs> Michael Arthur Razima. What was his, the other one last night? Meat, meat hole. Oh, Meat Hole, yeah. Meat hole. Yeah. yeah. Meat hole. Last night, Chloe Agnew was here, and uh, she explained that in Gaelic, Michael was Meat Hole. Meat Hole. Hole. Yeah. And we were like, Meat Hole? <laughs> That's kind of a crass name for even the Gaelic. Meat Hole Razima. Meat Hole Razima. <laughs> it's your stage name. It's. Not I've your, always wanted that name. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Meat hole. Meat hole Zima. Greg, you still don't have one? Okay, cool. Second round. Well, cheers. Second round then. Yeah. I know worries. Kick it.
don't you worry about it. Round two. <laughs> Michael Hopkins, ladies and gentlemen, on the bartending skills. Oh, and to all you at home, cheers. Happy pandemic. to walk right up to the edge and let my feet hang down Never worried about the ledge or if I'd fall to the ground She appeared and offered me Brought me to my knees. Right then I became a different man. I had a reason to be. How can you blame me? She has changed me. I decided to let. Change me. I just. 
excited to live. Now I know I've got so much to give. I decided to live. Every day I pray I don't forget. I decided. Decided to live. Cause now I know I've got so much to give. I decided to live. Excited. All right. John Driscoll Hopkins. Hey. So the backstory in this next song called Rebel Road is that we actually have uh, nearby a Rebel Road that my kids used to get excited about because the bus would go down Rebel Road. They thought since the bus went down that road that it was that it was more fun. So it wasn't wasn't really you know out of the way to go, but it was you know, not the quickest way. So I would often pass it, and they would chant as we were passing it. They'd say Rebel Road. Rebel Road. They were a lot younger, and they thought that was fun. So um, we started working on this idea for uh, the song Rebel Road, and it became this um, uh, metaphor for the, the dangers in, in living too rebelliously. And, uh, and uh, my explanation is that, uh, that I can't go down Rebel Road. So um, that's how this song got started, and uh, excited to share it with you now. You turn down Rebel Road. It's more exciting, I've been told. My friends all live there, don't you know? Daddy, won't you turn down Rebel Road? Let down the windows and roll. Just as fast as we Daddy, won't you turn down Rebel Road? It ain't everything you've been told. You might crack your head on a 
telephone pole. It looks exciting from here, and so inviting I fear it might be dangerous here. Now Rebel Road, now Rebel Road. I still breathe the smoke from the burn. Sing that as you drive by it all I the do. time. Yeah, we we do think about it yeah. all the time. The I girls still do it. <laughs> yeah, I think about that every time I drive yeah, by. Yeah, me, <laughs> me too. Gotcha. <laughs> right? <laughs> we should do a next nice live broadcast from Rebel Road. <laughs> well, we should de definitely put some of these. Black magic cameras in the car and and Have a family go, go get in the back of the truck and go to Rebel Road and sing along one time. Yeah. That would be cool. Would be um, there's a new lyric video out for this song that came out in November, and uh, it's on the record, "Missing You All All the Time." And the new lyric video was done by a uh, Savannah College of Art and Design student named Vex Veer. And we added some of our own uh, video to that, and she treated it to look like animation. So it was a really cool concept, and we really had fun doing it. And it's out there. Um, it's on, U on YouTube now and uh, the other socials. You can get to it that way. And uh, this is uh, one, of, uh, one of my favorite songs and uh, one that we play a lot. And I hope you, hope you are able to, uh, to catch that video and, and listen to this one on Spotify as well as the other ones. Uh, that, that are on the record that uh, and thank you for all your listens on on there because it, it's really exciting to see that that climb and, and the number of spins and listens that, that we're that we're getting from that so thank you for all that is that too loud Aaron <clears throat> this one's wide open okay <laughs> I don't know it got loud in here I think we're good though uh, missing you all all the time
Hurricane just south of New Orleans. Kept it stuck just north of Slidell. Now we got to double back down to Houston where it's hot as hell. Got a message from my daughter. Wish I could have picked up the phone. Don't you dare miss my birthday. Daddy, please come home. Got a Got that lyric video, it's fun. This one about my grandmother and about growing up in general. Um, 
sometimes you write songs that are, that have a feeling and then they they end up drawing from lots of different areas uh some of this feels like it's about the way my dad grew up more than the way I grew up um but it but it all feels familiar and uh as we can continue to 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 uh to live and to grow, uh, it's 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 fun to reflect on these memories, even if they're sad ones, because uh, they're not all sad. But uh, this is a, a neat neat song for me. It's called "All Grown Up," and I'm trying to remember how it starts. Leah kicks this one off, right? <laughs> All right, we didn't rehearse this one. That's it. Yeah. back to memories boy I used to be thought for sure he'd never leave that little piece of heaven in the middle of Wilkes County tucked safe inside the shadows of the Georgia pecan tree Now all grown up All around me I know nothing stays the same But what's the rub? I look at What I see astounds me Never thought my world would change so much All grown up That pair of rebel scars I burned into the highway. I couldn't get out fast enough to prove my daddy wrong. Bound and determined, I was gonna do things my way. Wouldn't see how right he'd be until I got back home. We drove in from the west side, past May Sally's Diner. It's good to see tradition doing well and still alive. There's the house we all outgrew, bittersweet reminder. With the only dirt road left in town, Grandma Sarah's drive. All grown up, all around me. I know nothing stays the same, but what's the rush?
all grown up. All right. Cheers again, everyone. Thanks again for joining us. We have a couple more for you. Um, and then we're going to step into uh, our meet and greet. Hope you guys are really enjoying these live streams that we're doing out of Brighter Shade Studios here. Um, they look amazing on these Black Magic cameras, and, and uh, I, I'm... I'm Really excited to be bringing you a very professional show um, out of the out of the studio here, and uh, it feels very intimate. Even though I can't see you, I hope that you feel like that we're right there in your living room, and uh, we we kind of feel like we are in our own little living room here. Spend a lot of time in here, not playing music, of course. <laughs> but uh, no, this is a great place to. To do play Twister. <laughs> we hang swings from the ceiling and we swing. It's fun. Yeah. We. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see if I can play this one. Got COVID fingers. It's a runaway train Wrecking the ball A disaster I can't explain it Just keeps on rolling faster And the turns keep me up all night So I lock it down and hold on tight Good God almighty It's a runaway train To run away train Wrecking ball a disaster I can't explain it Just keeps on a road and faster And the turns keep me up all night So I run it down and hold on tight Run. 
musical electricism. Clay Johnson on the guitar tech in the night. Thank you, buddy. some silly story here. This is the spot where I tell some silly story. <laughs> Let's skip that. Okay. <laughs> it, it just kind of works with the little finger picking thing. Though. Yeah, it feels, it, I don't want it to feel rehearsed, but I guess, I guess people do know this story already. Yeah. Um, hell, I'll tell it anyway. So, many moons ago, I started writing this song during the best and the worst gig of my life. Uh, I was a lot younger, and it was, um, it was the best gig because it was five days a week, and it was 150 bucks a day, and it was like, hell yeah, that's, that's work. I'm, I can work every, you know, I can do this all every week and make a living. And it was the worst gig of my life because there was literally no one there ever, 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 <laughs> no one. I mean, nobody. The gig was like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Wednesday and Thursday was happy hour, <laughs> you know. So it's like I'm trying to remember the exact details, but it was like, Two to six or something like they they wanted like a a lunch crowd into a dinner crowd or something like that. Maybe it was four to eight or something, but it was earlier. But where was it? It was in Roswell at a at a, a movie theater. Star time. Well, it was a it was a go kart track. Yeah. Right. It was actually a putt putt course, <laughs> and um, well, it was actually three different restaurants. Uh, they had batting cages there. And they had this little stupid guy over in the corner playing acoustic guitar. And um, rolling so, in the dough. Rolling yeah, rolling. In the dough. Well, it was steady, but it was like an hour drive. I lived in College Park. It was like, you know, 45 minutes to an hour to get up there with traffic. And um, but I was doing it. I was loving it because it was steady money. And and uh, one time, you know, at one point I was I was playing. I was just practicing the guitar. Something I should probably do again. <laughs> <laughs> what if I can get that gig back? <laughs> That'd be good. So I was just like doing these little hammer-ons and pull-offs. Uh. You can do that for hours, and people think you're actually playing a song. You just walk around chords that, that fit together and... manager come out when I was doing that one time and he's like, how's it going? I'm like, good. I just, I just saw a bunch of people. They were here and they left. But, uh, you know, I think while, we was, while I was there, there was probably one crowd of uh, like 12-year-old girls that they have just gotten done with their softball game and they all ran over and they were getting ice cream and going to a movie and, and I think I played Brown Eyed Girl for him or something, you know. But there, it, it was... It was a great learning experience, and um, and you never turn away steady work. So, I think they decided that it wasn't the best place for an acoustic guitar guy <laughs> after about six weeks. But I was hanging on, baby. I was hanging on. But that, those hammer-on exercises, along with some some lyrics that I've been putting down over the years, turned into this. You know, you're playing.
cried all night when you told me that I lost you. I died inside as I watched you walk away. And all this time I didn't doubt your reasons, but I can't heal what you can't replace. Now I sleep like a baby. And all my dreams come true. Because the rest of my life has nothing to do with you. favorite chair at my favorite tavern. I turned to see you standing there with envy in your eyes. And I saved your life from 13 years of anger. But I broke every bone on the way home, swinging at the sky. Now I sleep like a baby. Stumbled in to find you crying in the kitchen. I argued with a broken heart and fabricated pride. And the battle raged for hours, but I didn't have the power to make you understand. So you turned and said goodbye. Now I sleep like a baby. All my dreams come true Cause the rest of my life Has nothing to do with you Now I sleep Yeah, go-karts, <laughs> batting cages. the gig the other story is that that i was i was playing the gambler kenny rogers song yeah. and kenny used to live in alpharetta and there was no white-haired dude got to go in to see the movie whatever it was point break or some crap i don't know what year it was <laughs> and he stood there and watched me i was like damn that looks like kenny rogers and i'm sitting here butchering the gambler and then the manager comes out again says, did you see kenny rogers come in <sighs> really? You wouldn't expect him to be there like.
like Kenny Powers, maybe. Right. You know, not, not yeah, Kenny, Kenny Powers was the manager. I'm surprised he didn't come over and say, nice job, son. He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he did not he say that. Be yeah. <laughs> he came over and said, you should know when to fold them. <laughs> 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 yeah. He came over and said, why'd you run the crowd away? There was no crowd, sir, Mr. Kenny, sir. There's never been a crowd. Well, why are you here, son? Seven hundred fifty dollars a week. You need to know when to fold them. <laughs> right. Riz, that's the new story. I love it. That's the new story. Is he came over and said, "You need to know when to fold them." Yeah. It's going to get better every time. I love the story. COVID was good for something. <laughs> right. Even with that joke. I have a new lie to tell on stage. <laughs> we keep beating the dead horse, <laughs> but it gets <laughs> uh, Continuing the myth, the man, the legend. <laughs> oh, goodness. Once again, thank you guys for sticking around with us. And um, this is another one from the Lonesome High record. Uh, the last one, the only one we haven't played from the Lonesome High record. And it's been gaining in traction with the spins on Spotify. Thank you for listening to it. I'm, I'm glad to see that it's gaining popularity. Um, it is certainly a fun one for us to do. It's called Throw Me From The Mountain. You ready? Ready. You want to do the, the scream? Why not? It's like you're being thrown off a mountain, okay? Yeah. So at home, we're all just going to go, ah. Okay, you ready? Ready? Scream. Ah! <laughs> my bones. Tell my girls I love them. My soul's already at home. Throw me in the river when I'm gone. Throw me from the mountain when I'm gone. Render loud my favorite gospel song. Put a picture in
That's the bounce. <laughs> you hit the ground and then you bounce. And you hit it again. There's another one coming up. And they're going to get faster. I'm halfway down now, Lord. Eddie, Eddie Murphy, yeah. <laughs> I'm halfway down. In Bunny? In Bunny. Okay. Once again, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, we're going to close out with uh, uh, one of my oldest tunes. Um, still, still one of my favorite. Uh, it's called DJ, and that stands for David Jason, which is my brother's name. And uh, it's about my family and my brothers are all very important to me. And, uh, and uh, this is about uh, loving and respecting your family and also uh, about learning the things that you can't be taught. Things you have to learn on your own. So a little more explanation there. Cheers again. Wish my daddy was a doctor of philosophy. It's hard to teach a boy to read through men with radiology. You can study all the people. Bone by bone, but you can't see the darkness now within a man's soul. I get
wish my brother could show me how to love. He's been loving me through victory and things that I'll not speak of. You can smile at the people when your heart is feeling low. You can reach for the people when your arms are moving slow. You can walk with the people when all you want to do is go. If I only knew how to do that, it's all I'd want to know. A man in a dumpster. I swear I saw him breathing. A woman with a youngster riding for his feet. And there was a child with a future. An opportunity is fleeting. An immigrant believer whose faith is now retreating. Lying on their fine, telling me how to get on. Learn learning school, how to make it on my own. Greg Ernest on the banjo. Westbrook on the guitar. Sean McIntyre on the bass.
is not a rebel song. This song is right on, 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 right on. Thank you so much for tuning in to Brighter Shade Studios, Virago TV, the John Driscoll Hopkins Band. We will see you next time. Peeing with us. Virtual important person. Yeah.